All right, back to the beach. Some uh, riding with my new uh, MCM5. I haven't taken it to the beach yet. It's uh, Tuesday, June 5th. Most of my riding last uh, few days, anyway, has been uh, the MCM5 since I got it. Uh, actually, I got it Thursday night. I'm loving it. I'm a lot of fun with it. I've uh, tuned into it now, so uh, I feel uh, really comfortable riding it. And uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit today about some of the ride characteristics. At the same uh, beach, I think uh, last video, vlog type video I did, right at the end of uh, LAX airport at the runway. There'll be some loud planes periodically. I'm still uh, sporting my uh, these new sunglasses. I really like these. The, the fact I change them out when I wear my. Um, LS2 Rebellion helmet it has these dark shades which really work nice, but they don't block this, the wind. So I just pop polarized lenses out and I stick clear lenses on and uh, it's great. I was using a lot last weekend. I rode, um, rode Cogswell with uh, Jeff and uh, did 45 miles up in the mountains. Great riding. But you're on the trail where it's sunny and it's, then it's, it's, you're in shade. So with that, that helmet, I just flip up the visor and I can see when I'm riding in the shade. And, uh, and then when it gets sunny, flip it down and I'm, I'm covered. The only problem with these, these glasses so far and a continuing problem is they, they do fog up. But... Uh, I mean, not all the time, but they'll, they'll definitely fog up, and it's, it's really only when you're stopping, when you're when you're moving, the airflow, air is flowing, then uh, there's there's no uh, issues. Um, so uh, it has it, fundamentally it hasn't been a big bother to me. So uh, I still I'm still recommending these, and uh, again for. 17 bucks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, uh, I'll buy another pair readily if something happens to these lenses. But, uh, really beautiful vision. Besides the MCM5 news, I'm uh, anxiously waiting for my opportunity to test the Nightlot Z10. I think House of Job has in New York right now. And according to Jason, it's going to then go to Duff in Florida. Congratulations, Duff, on uh, getting in on the real uh, testing circuit. <laughs> and uh, that's going to go to Colton. 
in uh, Colorado, in the Denver area, and then uh, last to me. So I don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe, uh, maybe, hopefully, still in June sometime. And then uh, Jason also has an early model. I don't know if it's a pre-production or just a very early production model of the ATL. They had some issues in the shipping process, so he had to get a new control for it. And uh, it's going to go through the same, uh, the same process. Not to New York, Florida, Denver, and the main South Carolina. So, uh, next two months is going to be fun. Then I got the M Super X, which I'm uh, definitely buying for sure. And uh, I'm anticipating in July sometime I'm going to get that. Once I get that, I'll probably do some comparisons with my M Super. And then I'll, uh, hopefully I'll be able to sell my M Super. I think I'm going to need two M Supers. So I did do a range test on the wheel. And I got 26 miles. So this is a 650 watt hour wheel. Of course I just heard someone mention, hey, there's an 800 watt hour version available. <laughs> you can never win with with wheels. It's like, uh, especially Gotway, they're just churning them out every other week it seems. I'm okay with this wheel. I, my intention was not to have a wheel that I could do long distance riding but it's more of a fun wheel but uh, yeah 26 miles I weigh uh, probably my riding weight was about 175 pounds thereabouts uh, it's pretty distant I had about 20% battery left thereabouts I think 15 to 20 percent so, so I think uh, depending on your speed you could probably just week out 30 miles on this wheel I consider it a solid, I'd probably go on any 25 mile ride I want and I could take this wheel. So uh, yeah, the next uh, test I'm going to do is my uh, mountain stress test. It's about a 15 mile ride total actually and uh, really fun. Uh, some of you have I'm sure have seen some of my uh, videos, it's my go to place to just do an all-around test, so I'm, I'm really curious since there's, there are no pads on this wheel, you can't grip the shell at all, how it'll do climbing uh, steep hills and whether it'll overheat an overheat hill. <laughs> uh, I suspect it's going to do pretty good because this wheel has uh, buku power, lots of torque. It really is a kind of a grown-up version of the M10-3. Which I'll get into in a little bit. Uh, so I suspect it'll just uh, climb those hills no problem without me having to squeeze the shell at all because you can't squeeze the shell on this guy. I have heard, again, and I've seen pictures, you can actually buy pads that Gotway makes with this wheel. Really weird. They make, they make the pads, but they don't provide them with the wheel. I suspect a lot of people would like to have the pads on the wheel. But uh, this wheel, uh, without the, the pads, you have, uh, I'll demonstrate, you have so much more control because uh, the wheel isn't touching your legs. And uh, with, with pads, it would really um, detract from that experience uh, in my mind. So uh, I, I have no intention of getting the pads. Uh, this wheel is just candles are great without without uh, having to touch the wheel, the shell. I thought I'd do a little, uh, this isn't going to be a full review, but I'll just show you some of the details while I'm at the beach. Uh, once I put uh, probably a few hundred miles on this, I'll, I'll do a, a more formal review, which reminds me, I need to uh, do a review on my M10-3 and my KS-14. I have uh, hundreds of miles on those guys now. But anyway, uh, I like, I don't know, I think it's a cool looking wheel. I'm a little disappointed in some of the videos 
that one of the guys from Gateway posted that there were LEDs in, in these vents. Quote vents, they're not vents, they're just made to look like vents. I haven't opened up the shell, but I've, I've looked in there and the, as best as I can tell, they're, they're, they don't go anywhere. Um, but anyway, I like the look of it. This, uh, this is just a little padded area that they put a Gateway sticker on. This can peel off and there's still uh, kind of rubber behind it. Of course, uh, this sticker has been put on straight. <laughs> One of these guys that, that bothers me, the quality when uh, you know, the worker, whoever's doing it, just takes a sticker and goes like that. Not looks straight enough to me. Oh well. Not lose any sweet sleep over it. So I, I think it's a nice looking wheel. Uh, pedals, you can see they, they really they don't fold up straight and they do hit here. So over time this this uh, grippy tape is gonna wear away this plastic a bit. I don't really worry too much about scratches and stuff on my wheels because they get enough scratches when they fall over in the mountain trails or you know, whatever. You know, I ride my wheels, I don't, I don't uh, keep the show. But the handle, something kind of weird, if, if you lose control of the wheel, like you know, when I'm riding backwards, sometimes I need to grab the wheel. It's definitely a problem that there's no handle here. Sometimes you can't, you can't grip, you kind of go like this and you kind of, yeah, it's hard, so uh, overall, I like it, and the cutoff switch, it's just natural, as soon as you pick up the wheel, it just shuts off, uh, I, re I really like this feature, I've, I've been using it, you know, because I ride this wheel around town, picking up, going over uh, curbs, or walking up some stairs, uh, definitely every wheel should have this feature, um, I'm a convert, that's for sure. The handle, I think, is uh, it, it works. It definitely feels fragile. It's uh, more fragile than the Tesla handle, and definitely this part up here. But it, it's, it's definitely functional. Uh, I suppose if the wheel gets away from you, uh, there's a potential that this might break. I don't know what kind of plastic this is. Uh, it could be really tough plastic, but uh, anyway, it, it works for me. So, uh, yeah, the, the ring lights work. Uh, there's four different modes, the best that I can tell. Uh, there's a mode that's right now, it's on where just these LEDs flash, just like the M10 3 with a Tesla, you can look at it and tell your, your battery status. Then you can switch to mode that uh, you've got this and you have a ring light, decorative ring light. That's the second mode. Then the third mode is you don't have any battery indication. The whole, the whole ring light is just decorative. And then the fourth mode is the whole ring is decorative, but it's a solid red glowing uh, moving bar. It's kind of cool. And uh, and then the ring light, it doesn't vary depending on how fast you're riding. For instance, on the, on the, on the Tesla, for sure, I think on the N10 3, the faster you move, the faster the LEDs move. That, these just have a static speed. Uh, but, yeah, I like the lights. Oh, and, and when you, uh, whatever mode that you have, them, have those in, it remembers the mode when you uh, turn off the wheel and turn it on next time. And I think the new Teslas do that too. That's kind of nice. LED, the headlamp is the same as all the new Gotway wheels. It's super bright, so that's standard. Um, I noticed that they're painting the hanger brackets black now. I think it would have looked maybe nice if they painted the pedals black too. Maybe I'll do that later. 
And uh, yeah, you can see the, the general shape of the wheel. It's an egg shape this way, but it's also kind of an egg shape this way. And without the pads, your legs basically just do not touch it. And uh, that, that's a benefit, and I'll, I'll show you maybe later in this video or another video uh, how that benefits the agility of this wheel. All right, uh, that's, I guess, it for now for this first look. I'm really enjoying the wheel, though. I did do one, one uh, kind of a fast ride that uh, I had the wheel up to 24 miles an hour. It wasn't my intention to go quite that fast. It turned out I couldn't hear the at that speed. I couldn't hear the, hear the third alarm. Now, I was at a 60% battery at that point. I've heard someone, uh, I can't remember who, said they had it up to 27 miles an hour. I can believe it. At, at 24, it felt very, uh, it felt nice and stable. Uh, I didn't feel like I was, I was uh, pushing it. Uh, you know, like I had more headroom. The reason I didn't go faster was I had my Pebble watch on and it buzzes at 24 miles an hour. Which is kind of my limit. I like to limit, limit myself to those kind of speeds. So I, I might try running faster just as a test in a full battery. Uh, but it, it's a powerful wheel, so it's kind of it's cool having a 14-inch wheel that can go as fast as you need to go. Unlike my KS14S, which if I had the wind on my back, I could go about 19 miles an hour. And, uh, and it kind of feels like you don't want to go much faster than that. But uh, this wheel moves. And it has, uh, you know, it's, it's basically an old ACM motor in a 14-inch wheel and a lighter wheel. So it just has uh, instantaneous torque. It, it feels light, so it just uh, jumps off the starting line and it stops super fast. Yeah, so I, I, it's, it's a fun wheel. I'm really, really glad I bought it. I kind of only wish I knew that there was an 800 watt power version coming around the corner. I would I would have bought that one. Just to give me another 10 miles of riding. Oh well. So, it's not as agile as an M10-3. Uh, I really wasn't expecting it to be. Uh, you know, just a strictly a bigger version of N10 3 but it, it's, uh, it's getting close. Uh, it has so much power, so any of you guys who own the M10 3 you know how if you get into a weird situation, you're going backwards or something, it's just so easy to instantaneously correct, no matter how weird your wheel angle is, you can just instantaneously correct it and recover. Well, you can do that pretty much with this wheel, too. Because of all the, so you've got all the power behind you, and then because of the shape of the shell, you can, you can uh, lean the wheel very easily, which you need to do if, you, if you're correcting yourself. In a, you know, you get the wheel in, a, wheel in a weird situation, you need to correct yourself. It's, it's super easy just to lean the wheel far over either direction and, uh, and then pull out of uh, whatever difficulty you got yourself into. So that way, it, it is like the M10-3. Uh, so it, it's just super fun to ride real slow, ride fast, uh, and just, yeah, uh, just kind of a bigger version than M3, but not quite. Okay, well, I guess that's it for uh, today.
today I'm going to find a parking lot. I'm going to do some uh, practicing with the wheel. Um, I'm going to work on my back, backwards riding and turning and 180s and 360s and that kind of stuff. Alright guys, talk to you later.